All right, so let's do a video showing how this 5,000 watt spot welder works. I've already used it, uh, probably for about 80 welds, doing my own battery packs and and power banks. Anyways, it's still on its original charge, so I charged it all the way up to 8.2 volts. Now it's at 7.84. And here are some dead cells that we're just gonna do some welds starting from three all the way up to six, just to show you guys how it works. So that's a nice little spark, and that's on level three. Let's go to level four. Level five. Hmm. Less of a spark for some reason on that one. And we'll do level six on the other battery. There we go. That's level six. Okay, so now let's try to remove everything. So remember this is three, four, five, and then six. Start with level three first. I'm gonna spin it around for me. Okay, so at level three, that was an easy break and nothing at all stuck on. Level four, Okay, you have holes now, and you have a little bit of nickel tabs staying on the battery itself. Level 5, again, you got holes in the nickel tab, and you have some bigger uh, pieces of leftover residue. So obviously level 6 is going to have an even stronger weld, as you can see, and tore all the way through. I've mainly been using level 5 or 6 when doing the spot welds, and this is the 015 millimeter tab that they give you in the original package. Anyways, um, next up, let's do some nickel on nickel welding. Just to show you guys how the machine will blow holes through everything. Okay, so nickel on nickel. This is going to be starting at level three. Level three, and... Okay, so this is at level three, don't forget. And this will be on level four. Ooh, okay. All right, so let's take a look at the level three stuff first. You can see it made the marks in the back, but didn't blow through anywhere. Let's see if we can break it by hand. No, I'm not going to be breaking it by hand. So, it's a solid weld at level 3. And nickel to nickel, it tore a hole through it. I remember watching a lot of other videos and people saying that nickel to nickel is difficult to weld, but it seems like it's a super easy thing for this for this machine to do. Now let's try to do the level four nickel on nickel. Obviously I'm gonna be using my pliers. Oof, okay. I'm tearing it and it is definitely not coming apart. So there we go. Some nice holes in the nickel tab. 
a very strong machine. Let's do a level five on these two pieces real quick. Should be still zoomed in enough. Okay. No holes blown through anything yet. This is a definitely a solid weld. Yeah, this is kind of pointless trying to trying to get this apart. It's not coming apart. Let me just do a level six. See if I can blow through through the nickel tab right now. The battery is getting low. I've never had it this low before. No, but if you look at the back, you can see it's wanting to go through all the way, but it's not there yet because right now it's at 7.84 volts. When I was blowing holes through at level 6, it was around uh, 8 volts total. Let me do one more at level 7 and see if we can get some holes through it. Hopefully you're still in view. Yeah. Big spark. Still pretty hot, but nothing. Um, yeah. So, we're at 7.82 volts now. I don't think it's going to blow any holes through, because again, it's supposed to be 8.2 volts or so fully charged and they tell you to recharge at 7.3 volts we're right around 50 percent battery capacity or battery level at this point then um as you can see this thing is plenty strong and i have never turned it up to 10. i'm going to turn it up to 10 when i do some milwaukee battery packs and i have some 0.2 nickel strip and that's about it so if you guys need me to do some other follow-up videos just put it in the comments because i don't really know what else i need to cover and thank you guys for watching